In today's episode, I'll show you how you can make your own QR code, print it on your 3D printer in two colors, and then read it with your phone to take you to whatever website you want. I'll explain it all on today's film on Friday. Film at Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. You can actually create a QR code in Tinkercad. Go down to the shape generators and then scroll down, click on the all button so you see all the different ones, click on more shapes, and then you should see QR code show up down here. Just drag that into the build plate and now we can build our own QR code. The first thing I wanna do is actually make this taller. So I'll bring out the ruler and you can see that it's 33 by 33, but one millimeter tall. So I'm going to change that to two millimeters. So it's not real big. Now I'm going to go up to the regular shapes and I'm going to bring in a block. And I'm going to make this block 35 millimeters by 35 millimeters. So it's slightly bigger and I'm going to make it one millimeter tall. So this forms a backing to the QR code. Then I'll grab both of them and I'll use the centering tool. So they're right on top of each other in the center. And there's our QR code. So now I go into the QR code, just click on it, and you can change the text to whatever you want. I'm going to change it to filmatfriday.com, and then the shape changes to match that. Now I want to print this in black and white. I don't have to do this in Tinkercad, but I wanted to see how it looked, so I made the back of it white and then the top of it black. So this is what it should look like when it's printed as two colors. I didn't even group them together. I just grabbed them both, exported it as a single STL file, brought it into Cura. I'm going to use version 5.0 beta and try out the filament change. I was able to import all my profiles, so I'll use the 0.2 profile with the smooth top. And then once I sliced it, it said it would only take 27 minutes. I clicked on preview, and then I scrolled down to make sure that this thing was working properly. It should change at the midpoint. So layer five was flat, layer six, it started to print the QR code. So now I'll go up to extensions, post-processing, modify G-code, and then add a script. And I'm gonna select filament change. Now I can change the settings. I want it to change at layer six. That's where the QR code starts. And the Y position, I want it to come to the 100 position, but I want X all the way to the left. The Z position, I want this to lift up so I can change the filament and see it. So I'll put that at 25 millimeters. And this is the M600 command version. You'll see a box pop up next to the slice button. And that means you can just jump to this if you want to make any changes. So now I can just slice this again and it's the same, 27 minutes, no change. I look at it. Everything looks good, so let's send it to the printer. I used some cheap white filament and it printed the first five layers, then it paused, moved the head over to the left, and allowed me to remove the filament. Now, I took a little bit too long, so it said it had to heat up the nozzle. So it says press button to heat up nozzle. I did that, it started heating, and then it told me that I could insert filament and press the button. I loaded the black filament and I pressed the button to load it, and then it said, wait for filament to load. It started spinning and loading the filament, and then it squeezed out the white and started coming out all black. Now once it does this, it does give you a chance to purge more if you need to, but mine was black. There was no problem, so I just click continue, and then the thing moved over and started printing the black, the top QR code. And once it was done, it looked actually really good, but the real test was my phone. So I grabbed my phone, went over the top of it, and sure enough, it read it, I clicked on it, and it took me right to Filament Friday, my YouTube site. So that was fun to play with, and it also was a great test on my Ender 2 Pro of how well it could do that fine detail. I did try a smaller size, I did go down to 20 millimeters, and I could not get this to read. Multiple prints, everyone looked really good, but my phone could not read it. So there must be a limit to how small you can go with a 3D printed QR code. Now I did try this on an Ender 3 Pro. This is a brand new, out of the box, Ender 3 Pro stock firmware. Well, the firmware doesn't recognize the M600 command. The Ender 2 Pro does. This is another difference of why I say this is a better starter printer than this is now, because this has more complete firmware. I mean, you can update the firmware and get it to work, but for a beginner, this is better out of the box. So that's kind of frustrating that they haven't fixed that on the Ender 3 Pro by now. It did print it. It printed all the way through. It didn't stop Let me change the filament. So I just had a one color print. I did take a magic marker across the top of it and I did it three times. I got it to work once and it was still kind of sketchy. So two color printing this thing did a lot better job than coloring it, at least for me, with a magic marker. So if you want to try this out, it'll take you right to Film on Friday. You can stick it right there in your 3D printer. I'll put a link to this in the description below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, click on that Patreon logo. And if nothing else, click on that Film on Friday logo 
and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.